Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. This is the, the class number six, uh, class number six. Y vamos a dar inicio. We're going to start. Remember that we're having this week. Tenemos esta semana. And we're going to be like in the middle of the program. Terminamos esta semana y estaríamos a la mitad del programa. Okay. So, um... Let's see how you are. Let's listen to Brandon. Hello. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Um, more or less. More or less. Okay. Nice. Remember, you, are you having vacations next week? Yeah. Okay. That's perfect. I have vacation. Okay. Good. Good. Hey, thank you. Let's see. What about Wendy? Good evening. Hi. Ay, Wendy, creo que estás hablando con tu conciencia, porque no te escuchamos, pero vamos a esperar un momento, ok, no problem. Rigoberto, good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Fine, and you? You're fine, ok, perfect, nice. Jonathan, good evening, how are you doing? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, perfect. Well, and tonight, uh, thank you, Jonathan. Tonight, we're going to talk about simple present, affirmative, and negative. And this is like a big step. Es un gran paso ya para el nivel básico. Because we're going to talk about verbs. We're going to talk about actions. Ok, eh, the last week we started verb be. Estudiamos el verbo to be la semana pasada. Eh, nothing difficult, right? It was kind of easy, fue un tanto fácil. So we're going to advance. We're going to advance and talking about simple present, affirmative and negative. Ok, so to start, eh, here we have a simple question. What is the first thing you think when you wake up? What is the first thing you think when you wake up? ¿Cuál es o qué es lo primero que piensas cuando te despiertas? Maybe you can think, when you say think, es pensar. Maybe you can think about your job. You can think about your family, food, traffic, money. Um, your girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, husband, kids, pets, I don't know. So there are a lot of uh, options. So let's listen to some of you. Uh, Alexis, what about you? What is the first thing you think when you wake up? Uh, I think the traffic, my work, my job. Okay, um, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and because of the traffic is very difficult, right? Yeah, because yeah, because in the morning is a lot a lot of traffic. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, how much time do you take? One hour, two hours from your house to your job? It depends. When I when I drive motorcycle and for me and when I drive car and one two hours. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big difference, I know. Yeah, because only drive motorcycle. Yeah, motorcycle. yeah, that, that, that's the reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Good option. Thank you, good answer, Alexis. Jonathan, what is the first thing, lo primero que piensas, okay? Maybe about a family, work? I don't know, you tell me. So, I think the thing, the same that Alexis, the, the same the, traffic. Yes, the traffic. It, it's the same uh, for that. I out of my downtown. Uh, there is a lot of cars, and I don't there. So I have got morn early, and I don't like that. Yes, 
uh, usually we have to wake up earlier because of the traffic. It's really difficult. And mainly this year, I consider that this year is worse. Creo que este año es peor, mil veces peor, in comparison to the previous. Okay, but, well, thank you, Jonathan. What about Rigoberto? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Rigoberto. Va el nuevo look que trae Rigoberto. Se quitó un par de años, dice. Quiere verse más joven. Good. Excellent. Para vacaciones, Rigoberto. Nice. Yes. nice. Okay, my friend. What is the first thing you think? Uh, the first thing... I think is the shower. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially because sometimes we have some recipients, tenemos recipientes, or the shower, la ducha, or I would, we say pilas, okay? So that's the, the water is colder, todavía es más helada, okay? Yeah, it is difficult right now. It's sad. And remember, the change, el cambio de la cama. You are very warm, estás calientito, okay? With your carpet, very nice. And then shower, yeah. Buenos días. Good. Wendy, yes, audio, no problem. No, Wendy, creo que te han quitado. Si no, Wendy, puedes reiniciar, okay? Uh, Sochit, hello there. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Great, okay, thanks. Okay, nice. Um, uh, so, what is the first thing you think? Really? In the, in, in the morning, the traffic. Yeah. Oh. All day. In the morning, in the afternoon. Yeah. It's, and it, yep. All right, on time. Okay. Always. Listen, traffic and arrive on time. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Every day is a difficult task. I know. Yeah, it happens to me. A todos nos pasa, me pasa a mí. Thank you. Karen, <laughs> how are you? Are you there? Okay, maybe Karen is not there. But here we have... Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Good Karen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you have I, the answer? I, I, ¿Tiene la respuesta para la pregunta? Uh, Yes, uh, the first thing to think is continue sleeping. Yeah, continue sleeping. <laughs> I think, like, yes. Yeah, maybe we will <laughs> like at least 20 minutes more. A veces queremos 20 minutos, 5 minutos con 5. But yeah, difficult. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Karen. Uh, what about Ernesto? Are you there, my friend? Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, lo primero que se me ocurre en la mañana. Yeah. That is a late. Okay, yeah. And <laughs> it is not our fault all the time. No siempre es nuestra culpa llegar tarde. Okay, bueno. Casi <laughs> sí. Thank you, Ernesto. Okay, we continue with the class. Simple present affirmative and negative. Aquí ya vamos a una parte que, pues, me parece bastante interesante. So, uh, we start with this. That is uh, ways to say you're welcome. Recuerdo que alguien me lo había comentado la vez pasada. Me había dicho eh, las maneras de, otra manera de decir de nada, creo que fue. Eh, y le dije, si no me equivoco, I mentioned... Two or three options, for example, anytime. It's my pleasure. Don't mention it, I guess. But, well, anyway, here we have some options to say you're welcome. It is very common that when you listen, thank you, gracias. Ustedes escuchan gracias, ustedes dicen, ah, de nada. En español decimos, a los salvadoreños, ah, no hay nada. Hay que quedar, hay muere, ya sabes. But in English, we have some options. For example, you can say, sure. Sure, no worries. You got it. Got it. No problem. Here we have anytime. Anytime. I'm happy to help. 
it's my pleasure. Aquí se dice sure y aquí pleasure. Esta palabra se parece a esta en el sentido de que este es sure y este es pleasure. Not at all. Don't mention it. I guess I'm going to... Uh, Just give me a second. Le demos un segundo mientras las anotan. Ok, um, como les había dicho, uh, normally I write the pronunciation, a veces escribo la pronunciación para que tengamos una mejor idea, como se dice, yes, er, Rod Rigoberto, hello, Richard. yeah, eh, yo puedo con, eh, traducido sería como, Tú eres bienvenido, pero... O al menos se lo traduciría yo. Sí, your welcome significa de nada. Ya las dos palabras en sí ya es de nada. Sí, Después. sí. Eh, sí, yo, yo entiendo que se interpreta como tú eres bienvenido. Por ejemplo, alguien viene a tu casa, you are welcome. It is not like that. Sounds... Eh, Parece así, pero no. Cuando decimos you're welcome, significa de nada. Ok, so that's it. Eh, you got it. Así sería. You got it. Se puede decir you got it, pero la T, cuando está entre dos vocales, suena como R. You got it. Got it. Ok. No problem. Recuerden pronunciar la M. No problem. Porque algunos dicen no problem. Problem, igual aquí, anytime, M, anytime, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Aquí se dice, not at all. Pueden decir, not at all. Pero como les digo, aquí está una, la T, ¿verdad? Entre las dos. Ah, entonces, not at all. Y la última, don't mention it. Don't mention it. So, I'm going to check the attendance list and you uh, say hi, hello. And after that, mention one of these phrases that I'm presenting to you. So we can have a better idea to have like, well, variations, para tener variaciones, about uh, this phrase, you're welcome. Uh, Brandon Alexis, hello there. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. I'm happy to help. Nice. Um, Christian, are you there, Christian? Okay. Uh, Daniel Bonilla. Okay. Um, Ernesto. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, are you at home? ¿Ya estás en casa o vas de camino? Sí. Hey. Daniel Bonilla, ¿sí? Sí, dígame. Uh, ¿Ya estás en ya casa? Ya. Yeah. Okay, nice. 
Eh, a ver una de las frases de las que están acá. Uh, no problem. Ok, thank you. Ernesto, are you there? Hi. Uh, sure. Thank you. Fanny. Ok. Eh, Francisco. Ernesto. No problem. Thank you. Eh, Fer. I don't know if Fer is here. Ok. Um, Jonathan. Hi, teacher. Hello you got there. It. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Antonio. Hello, teacher. Hello, Antonio. Okay. One friend. Coming Not home. Uh, Thank you. You got it. Very nice. Edwin, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, hi, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Isaac, are you there? So Isaac. Okay, one phrase. I am happy to have. Okay, thank you. Karen. Hi. Um anytime. Anytime, thank you. Uh Benjamin. Okay, maybe we don't have Benjamin here. Uh, Marcela. Marcela. Hi, teacher. Hi, Marcela. <laughs> Not at all. Good. Uh, Mayeli. Okay, Mayra. Okay, Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Good evening, Good. teacher. Good evening. A ver una frase de acá, please. You got it. Thank you. Melvin, me habías levantado la mano. Sí, sí, para eso era, para lo mismo. Thank you. Ah, vaya, pero siempre voy en orden, ¿verdad? Okay, Recuerda, okay, ok, ok. Thank you, Melvin. Oscar Serrano. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Ok, Oscar, mm -hmm. one of these phrases, please. Okay, don't mention it. Very nice. Good. Rigoberto. You got it. Good, you got it. Teresa, hi. Hi, teacher. No problem. Very nice. So chilled. Hi. Hi there. Anytime. Good, thank you. And Wendy. I don't know if Wendy. Anytime? Yeah, that's it. Ahí oh, está sí. la voz de locutora. Thank you. Good. Okay, we continue now with, remember that we were studying the alphabet, so maybe we can have some exercises by using some letters, okay? But remember, here we have specifically the vowels A, E, I, O, U, okay? And the rest, you already know, okay? We also were studying, so we were studying articles, okay? Articles A and. And we, here we have uh, like a difference. Before consonant, before vowel. So A, o algunos como dicen A. A, it's uh, located, está ubicado before consonant, antes de las consonantes, okay? And and, it's uh, located before vowel, antes de vocal, okay? We already know this, ya sabemos esto. And also, here we have the other article, el otro artículo que es the, que tiene dos pronunciaciones. We have two forms to, pron to pronounce this. We can say the, o podemos decir the. So in this case, we can say the before consonant, antes de las consonantes, the drivers, the department, And we use the before vowel, for example, the employees, the accountant. Okay? No problem with this. Ya sabemos eso. So, vamos ahora a speaking activity. Vamos con la actividad. Eh, y acá es necesario tener cuidado. Okay? 
remember that I sent uh, that I sent an example, envié un ejemplo, ok, y en el ejemplo de la uh, speaking activity one decía, por ejemplo, he is Mexican, he's a singer, and a famous song is Mujeres Divinas. We already know the name of this person, right? Entonces, después de decir la, la, la descripción, of course, you can mention more characteristics. Pueden mencionar más características, ¿ok? Uh, for example, he appears in X movie, puede, aparece en cualquier película, ¿ok? Or he plays for Real Madrid o Barcelona. Pueden agregar las características que ustedes quieran. Y después mencionan guess who. Cuando decimos guess who, significa adivina quién, guess who, ok, so we're going to start with some volunteers, vamos a comenzar con algunos voluntarios, entonces recuerden no decir el nombre del artista, we have to guess, tenemos que adivinar, ese es el chiste de esta actividad, ok Brandon, you're going to be the first, right, so you tell me the description of that person, and then we go okay. with Jonathan. Okay, teacher. Uh, she she was born in uh, the Mexico. She is fifty six years old, and she is an actress. And she participates in the field. They are the they are living children. Uh, son como niños. And another film is the, the Eternal. Ah, okay. Yes. Girls. Uh, what is the oh, it's a girl okay okay yeah. so who yeah. is she mm -hmm. good thank you yes who okay okay guess who any idea about this alguien que Mahalik. sepa sobre i'm sorry yes <laughs> yeah yes, Salma Hayek. <laughs> yes. Uh, she's very famous right and she looks really good because you mentioned 50 years old alexis yeah Yeah, yeah, I imagine 50 años and she looks good. Okay, thank you, Alexis. Very nice description. We go with Jonathan now. Okay. Uh, person is an actor. He's a singer. I don't knew that. He's American. He acted in the movie Avengers. And what's meant to Spider-Man? Okay. Okay. He's a singer and an, and an actor, right? And he yes. acts in Avengers. Yes. Okay. And he was meant to Spider-Man. Okay. Any idea about this person? Who is he? Okay. Tom Holland. Is it Tom Holland? No. Okay. But he acts like Spider Man, you said. No. Uh, Toby Maguire? Yeah. No. No, I was a mentor to Spider Man. I was a mentor, like a teacher. Yes. Yes. That's like correct. Like a teacher. Tony Stark, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Yes. Tony Stark, digo yo, Tony Stark, ¿cómo que sea el nombre de la persona? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a singer, es cantante, singer. Yes. No sabía eso, la verdad. Uh, leí la biografía de él y no sabía que era cantante, pero sí. Es no idea. No idea about this. Okay, it's uh, new information for us. Thank you, Jonathan. Wow. Maybe I'm going to look for that. Ya voy a buscar eso. Suena interesante. Thank you, Jonathan. Antonio, are you ready? Yes, teacher, ready. Okay, my friend, go ahead. He was a very famous singer. One of these best now songs is L.A. Woman. He was as now as the Lizard King and the Cursed Poet. Good. Okay. 
It's a a who. Ok, es who. Lizard King, el rey lagarto. Yes. He, one of uh, his famous songs, mm -hmm. yes, are LA Woman or Light My Fire, right? Right. Yes, 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 it has. People strange, a lot of songs. Okay, any idea about this person, the Lizard King? He was a singer, yes. I believe that is, Jim, I don't know, this, the nice, uh, Jim Carrison, creo. Almost. No, no, no. Jim Carrey. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> Jim. Yes, but it's similar because it's Jim, right, Antonio? Jim Morrison. Yes, yes. Yeah. Jim yeah. Morrison. Jim, Jim, Jim Douglas. Yeah. I guess he belongs to the 27th club. Creo que pertenece al club de los 27, ¿verdad? I don't it's, know. It's right, right. Yes, it's right. Correct. A lot of artists like Kurt Cobain and some others that they... Uh, Jimmy Jimmy Hendrix, Hendrix. Yeah. Yeah. They died at 27. Yeah. Very young. Super jóvenes. Okay. Thank you, Antonio. Very nice. And okay. here we have some other, maybe, Rigoberto, con no look. Are you ready? Some listos? Hey. Yeah, hey. that's the attitude, okay? You tell me. He is superhero. The best superhero. <laughs> he lives in Gotham City. His emblem is a bat. With who? Okay, he, a superhero, okay. And he represents or something that represents it's a bat, right? Yes. Okay. Wendy, la respuesta. Mm. Batman. <laughs> <Wait. Yes. laughs> Batman Wayne. <laughs> okay, thank well, you. Well, ¿Cuál de todo? Ajá, ¿cuál de todo? I don't know which one. So, so demasiado, okay. Yes. Batman. Well, I guess Rigoberto is waiting for the new movie, the Flash movie, the Flashpoint, because uh, in that movie appears two Batmans, right? Uh, Michael anime. Keaton and Ben Affleck. Okay. Ah, sí. Y esos son otros también, las caricaturas. Thank you, Rigoberto. Viene con todo. Um, okay. Maybe we can have... Um, who else? One more. Maybe we can have... So, Chilt, are you ready with your famous person? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. Okay. She is 64 years old. She okay. is single. She is American. She is singer and dancer, actress, and business woman, has blonde hair, and she is queen of pop. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, she is 60 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long hair, blondie, I guess. Yeah, you mentioned blondie? Yeah. Okay, she's blonde or blondie. Yes, the queen of pop. Any idea yeah. about who is Madonna? she? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, yes, Madonna. <laughs> a lot of uh, hits of Madonna, okay? Yes, a, a very, very good singer. Thank you, Sochil. And maybe we can have the last participation of this Oscar. I don't know if, are you ready? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, please. Tell us about your uh, famous person. Um... Uh, he is a uh, single. Uh, he is um, from Guatemala. He um, the the song the the famous song is uh, history the dry taxi history. Um, mujeres. Okay. 
Nice. Okay. It's a singer from Guatemala. Okay. Any idea about this? Ricardo yes. Arjona. Yeah. Ricardo Arjona. Yes. Ricardo Arjona. Right. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Yes. I guess he recently presented in El Salvador. I guess. I guess the last year. Thank you. Good. Josue Chicas, uh, participation or later? No, eh, eh, Ricardo Arjona crees también. Ok, perfect, thank you. Ok, y luego vamos con la ronda de otras, pues, eh, tenemos varias actividades por hacer ahora, ok. But we go with the next. Conversation about family, ok. And in this case, uh, let me present you here. Ok. Remember that we were like describing also some people, okay? So um, here we have conversation one and two, man and woman. Here we have the first uh, part of, let me show you, okay? Remember that yellow words are considered like tricky or difficult. Algunas de las palabras María son consideradas como... Un poco complicaditas a veces o que nos confunden. Comienza. I like your family photos. Who is this? That is my dad. He is a doctor. Wow. He is very tall. Yes, he is. Is this your mom? Yes, she is a doctor too. Wow. Smart family. And here we have conversation too. Who are these people? That is my husband. In this picture, he is at work. Is he a fireman? Yes, he is. And this is my daughter. Wow, she's so cute. Yes, she is cute. Déjeme confirmar algo. ¿Qué me están escribiendo aquí? Parece que vienen de... Okay, so, so, um, tenemos acá que aquí se dice who, ¿verdad? Who is this, that, this, aquí okay, who are this, that, aquí se dice daughter, daughter, ok, daughter, cute, cute, ok. Me gustan tus fotos familiares, ¿quién es él? Ah, él es mi papá, él es un doctor, wow, es muy alto, sí, él lo es. ¿Es ella tu mamá? Sí, ella es doctora también. Wow, familia inteligente. Conversation 2. Who are these people? ¿Quiénes son estas personas? Él es mi esposo en esta foto. Él está en el trabajo. ¿Es he a fireman? Él es, un, ¿Es él un bombero? Yes, he is. And this is my daughter. Y esta es mi hija. Wow, she is so cute. Ella es tan linda. Sí, ella es muy linda. Ok. So maybe Alexis can help me with this conversation. Sending this picture, please. Yes, teacher. Thank you, my friend. Antonio, yes. A question or comment? Conversation one. Ok, sí, ya la vamos a practicar, ok. Eh, primero necesito que nos vamos a ir en equipos, ¿verdad? En, en equipos dos, de dos. Y vamos a practicar eso. Recuerden practicarlo al menos dos veces. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, conversation one. Alguien va a ser man y alguien va a ser woman. La siguiente vez intercambia. So you can have like uh, variations of words para que tengan variedades de palabras y todo eso, ¿verdad? Um, creo que la mayoría de palabras están tanto prácticas, ¿ok? So in this moment we're going to go Let me see Ok Okay. 
los veo en un momento. See you in a moment. Bien, eh, Daniel y Brandon tal vez pueden acceder a los grupos. Por si tienen dificultades, me dicen. Daniel, dificultades. Ok, perfecto. Hi, teacher. Ok, dificultades para ingresar, Brandon. Sí, no sé si me puede enviar la invitación de nuevo. Ok, ya te lo envío.
Teacher. Yes. Give me a question. Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, cute use only for woman or use for very, men? Very, very good question. Well, practically, when we use cute, is for men, but also for for girls, but related like physically. Para hombres, físicamente es cute. ¿Verdad? Cuando algo, digamos, muchacho, las chicas dicen, ah, este muchacho está lindo. Pero también se le dice cute a las chicas, pero cuando ellos hacen, tienen un gesto dulce. O tienen una apariencia como bien dulce, como, como que medio angelical. Ajá. Bien extraña esa palabra, cute. But it can be applied for two. For both. Pueden ser aplicados para, para ambos, ¿verdad? Yeah. But general use only for men. For mm -hmm. men, yeah. I have seen a lot of contexts or conversations and it is for men yeah specifically teenagers cuando algunas chicas cuando algunas adolescentes se refieren a un, a un muchacho verdad o alguien normalmente es cute but yeah you can see in this conversation that it is related for for this like a baby okay, okay. So thank, you. thank you alexis okay my friends volunteers for conversation one or two you tell me who wants to participate in this case we have edwin and Antonio, that they, they are already ready. So Edwin, who is uh, who is your partner? Uh, Daniel Bonilla. Okay, please. Let's conversation, conversation two or two. Two. Okay. Vamos uh, David. Who are these people? Daniel, are you there? Okay, maybe not right. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, conversation one. Uh, ¿Quién comienza? Boy, I like your family photo. Who is this? That I. That is my dad. He is a doctor. Wow, he is very tall. Yes, he is. Is this your mom? Yes, she is a doctor too. Wow, a smart family. Very nice, good, thank you. Perfect. Here we have also Antonio, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Uh, conversation one. My partner is Rigoberto. Okay. Action. I like your family for us. Who is this? That is my dad. He is a doctor. Whoa, he's very tall. Yes. He is. is this your mom? Yes, she's a doctor too. Wow, smart family. Thank you, very nice, perfect. And here we have Oscar. Están pronunciando muy bien, you're pronouncing really good. Hi. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, your partner is? Tu compañero? Hello? Oscar, okay. No it's Brandon, listen. it's Brandon. Okay, Brandon and Oscar. Hi, teacher, okay. Let's go. Uh, Brandon, you start. Uh, I start? Yes. Okay. okay. I like your family photos. Who is this? That is my dad. He is a doctor. Wow, he is very tall. Yes, he is. Is this your mom? Yes, she is a doctor too. Wow, a smart family. Yeah, very nice, good. Escucho más fluidez con todas las conversaciones. I like that, me parece muy bien. So, let's go to another important part of a personal information this is uh, what is your email so in this case we're going to well to check about how to express your email that it is something very very important okay so arroba se dice at okay punto se dice dot no es dot sino que es como una o y una a dot Es casi como una A, ¿verdad? That. 
And here we have dash, que es guión, underscore, eh, underscore, en lugar de la U, no, underscore significa guión bajo. And we have uh, this Gmail Outlook Hotmail, que son la, la, las terminaciones eh, más comunes. Gmail Outlook Hotmail. Here we have some examples. Uh, let's check these examples. It says joshua.superhero.22 at gmail.com. Pueden decir 22 o pueden decir 22. Ok, no problem. Porque como son pocos números, wandavisionx2 at gmail.com. Carlos underscore Gomez at gmail.com. Ok, so here we have like the basic words to express a, uh, your email. So what we're going to say, I'm sorry, what we're going to do is to write your email on the Zoom chat and then you're going to read it. For example, here we have this. Okay, in my case, Josue Cuellar, that one at gmail.com that's my personal email so you're going to text it and then you're going to read it bien necesito que lo escriban y después lo van a leer les doy un par de segundos para que tengan ahí pues el margen de tiempo okay the, the space so you can text it correctly para que lo escriban en el chat que va a ser pendiente. Ok, we're going to start. Vamos a comenzar con algunos. Um, the first one is uh, Jonathan, ok. Mientras los demás lo escriben. Ok, Jonathan. Ready with your email. Ok. Uh, ok, my email is jonacordoba17 uh, at hotmail.com Ok, thank you. Very nice. Uh, Brandon, your turn. Uh, ok, teacher. Uh, is... Brandon Velasquez dot b a v a at gmail dot com. Very nice. Thank you. We go now with Marcela. Showtime. Yes. yes, teacher. My email address is Marcela Beltranena at gmail dot com. Okay, very, very simple, right? We go with uh, Ernesto. You go. And uh, the abrego 125 at, at gmail.com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Oscar. Hi. Is Oscar dot a dot serrano uh, at hotmail. Dot com. Ok, solo que en el caso de la A tienes que decir A. Oscar A. dot A. Mm -hmm. A. Yes. Ok, Karen, you go. Ok, teacher, es Torres dot are 20 at gmail dot com. Ok, Rigoberto. My email is Torres underscore underscore gs g g gs at hotmail.com okay solo que la j se dice j yes. j s mm -hmm. thank you okay josué you go okay uh, my email is j chicas all six at gmail.com mm, very nice so chill yeah, my email address is 
tochilcruz80 at gmail.com. Very good. Uh, Wendy. My email is wendy.mbq at gmail.com. Good one. Teresa. Teresa that serviofi at gmail.com. Mm, perfect. Mayeli, are you ready? Yes. And uh, my address email is Guadalupe underscore Mayeli at hotmail.com. Thank you. Do you like Guadalupe? ¿Te gusta el nombre de Guadalupe también? No, no. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok, thank you. Eh, Melvin. Hello, teacher. Yes, Melvin. Tu correo. H N I L B I N seven hundred red hundred seventy three at gilmay dot com. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Dot com. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Melvin. And I don't know if we have some others. Eh, creo que me falta el de Antonio. Yes, Antonio. Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, Pelusa.algis at gmail.com. Ok. No lo escribiste en el chat, ¿verdad, Antonio? No. Ok. Fanny, what about you? Are you there? Okay, if not, well, we're going to use uh, these uh, mails later. Más adelante lo vamos a utilizar. But it is important how to say your personal information, not only your name, your phone number, uh, your your occupation, but also email address. So thank you. Very well done. Muy bien hecho. Okay. Let's continue with... Uh, famous person activity guess who seguimos con los demás y tenemos a Mayeli ready Mayeli for this activity ok perfect uh, she was born in Barquilla Colombia she is blonde and likes to dance she sings pop in Spanish and English oh yes she has participated in War Song. She currently dedicates song to her ex partner. Okay, very nice. And yeah. Now she's blondie, but in the past she had like black hair, right? She yes. had a different look. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, any idea about who is uh, she? Anybody? Yes, Melvin? Hello. Hello, sí, vas a decir quién es? No, no, ah, no, no, ahorita era para decir. Yes, sí. Yes. Bueno, ahorita. Uh, no, no, relax, relax. <laughs> okay, okay. Está, tenemos que terminar. Ahorita la que... respuesta. Yes, la respuesta, sí, the answer. Sí, la... Ok. No Shakira, bad. Shakira. Yeah, Shakira, yeah. come on. Yes, a very yeah. famous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, she's a great composer. Es una gran compositora esta mujer. Very, very intelligent. Okay, thank you, eh, Mayeli. Vamos con Melvin, que ya venía con todo. Venía disparado. Okay. Okay. He is a... Argentines. He is a soccer player, world champion. Okay, nice. He is a soccer player. Is yes. Lionel Messi. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Yes, Lionel Messi. Yeah. Finally, he won a world championship. Al final, al fin ganó su mundial. Lo que le hacía falta. Thank you, Melvin. Uh, so chilled. Uh -huh. Hi. Ay, sorry, se quedó la... Quedó la manita ahí. La manita levantada. <ríe> ok, ok. So, who else? Vamos a ver si... Ernesto, are you ready? With your... 
famous okay. person. Mm -hmm. um, he is an actor. He is a producer. Yeah. He is from Germany. And protagonist of five, five elements. I really no the fifth yeah. element el quinto fifth element um, fifth. Yes. yes yes german really germany okay and he's a, a a famous actor right actually i guess he has a disease creo que tiene una pequeña bueno una enfermedad algo algo complicada right yeah, yeah. yes uh, die hard también duro de matar is yeah. this person right Yes, Ochil. Bruce Willis? Yes, también José yes. Bruce Willis. Yes. Bruce Willis. I yes. like, yes. The Sixth Sense. El Sexto Sentido me gusta a mí bastante también. Very good yeah. movie, yes. This this guy has a very good movies. Well, thank you, thank you. And let's listen maybe to... Marcela, are you ready? Yes, teacher. I'm ready. And okay. she was a singer. She died in Corpus Christi, Texas. And she was called to Queen of Tejano. And the famous thing is Como La Flor. Ah, okay. Yes. yes. Famous song. She is Selena. Selena. <laughs> yes. Yes. Eso ibas a decir, Sochil, también, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <la> palabra. <laughs> I guess Selena had a very big impact in music, in Spanish mainly. Creo que causó un gran impacto en la música en español. Creo que esa mujer es un icono. Well, in my point sí. of view, yes. And, and well, unfortunately, she died. I don't remember how old was she. No recuerdo qué edad tenía. When she died, but I guess she wasn't 30. No, llegó ni a los 30, creo. No, I, I 29. Guess. Yes, well, very young. Very young, bastante joven. Okay, thank you. Uh, Marcela, okay. We're going to continue later with this activity because if you notice, we have like good personalities, tenemos buenas personalidades, famous people, and it is important to listen to all your opinions because we notice uh, maybe your likes, podemos darnos cuenta de sus gustos, okay? Your tendencies, what music, what kind of music you listen, what type of movies you watch. So that's very nice, important. Well, let's go to... Uh... Okay, let me check something. What do we have here? Okay. I'm going to present this picture for six or seven seconds. So take a look at this and you tell me later what do you remember from this picture, okay? Después me dicen que recuerdan de estas imágenes. It is a picture. Okay. Wendy, mention one activity from this picture. I wake up. Wake up. Very nice. Thank you. Rigoberto. I go to work. Nice. Uh, Teresa, hi. I get up. Yeah, get up. Thank you. Uh, what about... Um, Teresa, yes, right? Maybe Brandon? And then Mayeli. I take a shower. Thank you. Mayeli and Ernesto. Okay, maybe Mayeli not ready. Es que se me estaba trabando un poco el internet. Okay, todo bien, Mayeli. 
¿Era que pensamos en la mañana? No, no, era una imagen que yo puse. No la alcanzaste a ver, quizás. No lo vi, no lo vi. Ok, no problem. Eh, Ernesto, en Den Oscar. Uh, I take a shower. Good, en Oscar. Uh, I grab. Thank you, Melvin. Are you there? Arrive home. Yeah, arrive home. Thank you, my friends. These are routines. Estas son rutinas. In all of these, well, in every routine, you can find a verb. Puede encontrar un verbo en cada una de estas rutinas. For example, I get up, I take a shower, I get dressed, I have breakfast, I go to work, I start work at nine. For example, but com it is common that we start work at seven or at eight. I have lunch, almuerzo. I finish work. I arrive home. I have dinner. I watch TV. I go to bed. So this is part of our daily routine, ¿verdad? Rutinas diarias. Okay. Que la vamos a utilizar en un momento, en un momento, okay? Um, let's see. And also... Here we have a listening exercise. Tenemos un ejercicio de listening. We're going to listen to four people. Four people and you're going to listen the name, last name, age, occupation, the task, las tareas que ellos hacen en el trabajo, and workplace. ¿Para qué lugar trabajan? So I recommend you I recommend you to uh, write these categories. Sugiero que escriban estas categorías mientras preparo el audio. Okay, we're going to listen to the, these four people. Remember, we're going. I'm going to play two times. Lo voy a reproducir dos veces. So be ready to take notes of the information that you listen. Hello, my name is Patrick Kent. I am 60 years old. I am a chef. I cook different dishes for Caesar's Palace. Hello, my name is Patrick Kent. I am 60 years old. I am a chef. I cook different dishes for Caesar's Palace. Okay, let's listen number two. Hi, I am Caroline Mendez. I am 45 years old. I am a painter and I supervise quality control for Sherwin Williams. Hi, I am Caroline Mendez. I am 45 years old. I am a painter and I supervise quality control for Sherwin Williams. Hello, I am Marcos Smith. I am 39 years old. I am a bus driver. I drive the school bus for American School. Number three again. 
Hello, I am Marcos Smith. I am 39 years old. I am a bus driver. I drive the school bus for American school. And finally, number four. Hi, my name is Rose Brown. I am 22 years old. I am a fashion designer. I design clothes for H&M. Hi, my name is Rose Brown. I am 22 years old. I am a fashion designer. I design clothes for H&M. <clears throat> okay, my friends, uh, what do we have here? You tell me the information that you noticed so we can have an idea about this, okay? Volunteers, here we have four uh, options, right? Mayeli, dice, no quiere que le gane ninguno. ¿Qué hay, Mayeli? Okay, uh, number, number three. Number three, okay, what do we have on number three? Marcos Smith, hmm? 30, 39, yep. bus driver, yes. driver school bus, mm -hmm. uh, American school. <laughs> Very nice. My really good. Thank you. So number three, it's correct and completed. Thank you. And maybe here we have uh, Brandon. Yes. Okay, teacher. Number one. Okay. The name is Patrick. And the last name is Ken, mm -hmm. and the age is 60 years old. And yeah. occupation is chef, and task is different dishes, and workplace is a palace. Yeah, thank you. Solo faltó una palabra, cook different dishes, but that's correct. Thank you. Number one and three, it's taken. Thank you. Uh, Marcela? Yes, number two. Number two. And Carolina Mendez, yeah. 35 years old. Yeah, okay. uh, occupation is supervisor quality control. Okay, thank you. And mm -hmm. uh, workplace is Sherwin Williams. Very nice, thank you. And here we have Oscar. Do you have number four, Oscar? Yes, teacher, number four. Thank you. Please go ahead. The name is Rose and uh, last name Brown. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 years old. Occupation yep. is fashion teacher. Uh, as is closest in world is H A M. Is correct? Okay, very nice. Yes. Um, good. Ahorita le muestro. Yes, all the well, most of the information that you said it's correct. Solo con Caroline Mendes, que sería painter occupation, pero la tareas que ella hace es supervise quality control. But then that's the, the only uh, detail, el único detalle. Then uh, the information that you said is correct. Okay, so this is. Cuando decimos task, son las tareas que ellos desempeñan eh, de, acuerdo a, de acuerdo a los cargos que tienen, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, you have a lot of tasks during the day in your workplace, ¿ok? So, thank you. Let's move to another... Let me check this. Okay, let's move to these verbs. Vamos a necesitar estos verbos, okay? Keep track para la siguiente actividad. Keep track significa dar seguimiento o monitorear. Okay, that's that's keep track. Help, ayudar, create, crear. Create, crear. Advertise, anunciar. Crear anuncios. That's advertise. Design es diseñar. 
Design, como la que creo que, ¿quién era Carolina? Creo que, no, era Rose Brown, que era Designer. Design, Designer. Develop, ¿verdad? Desarrollar, Develop. Y no es saber. No saber, Develop. Ok. Uh, we're going to use these verbs in this uh, next activity. So if you want to take notes, you can do it. So we can have a better idea how to do that activity. Okay, here we have this. Um, in this case, uh, what we have here is a bank of words. Tenemos un banco de palabras. Por ejemplo, tenemos bookkeeper. Tenemos financial analyst. Let's see, human resource specialist. Here we have digital marketing manager. Uh, no, letter E, letter E, insurance agent. Y aquí tenemos software engineer, ¿ok? So, um, cuando decimos bookkeeper, nos referimos a contador, ¿ok? Bookkeeper, contador. Financial analyst, que es analista financiero. Eh, sí, Human Resource Specialist, que es el especialista de, de, de recursos humanos. D, Digital Marketing Manager, que es el gerente de, de mercadeo digital. Letter E, Insurance Agent, agente de seguros. Letter F, Software Engineer, que es ingeniero de software. Ok, so you tell me. Oye, okay, here we have six... Eh, Six functions, seis funciones que hacen. And we have to match. Tenemos que vincularlos, tenemos que unirlos con las ocupaciones, ¿ok? Bookkeeper, contador, analista financiero, recursos humanos, eh, mercado digital, agente de seguros y también tenemos ingeniero de software, ¿ok? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que le den una revisada and then you tell me. Uh, we have participation, vamos a tener participaciones para completarlo. Okay, do we have volunteers for this? Okay, uh, here we have uh, Alexis, okay. Here we have Oscar and here we have Edwin. Just give okay. me a second. Yes, uh, Alexis. The, uh, number, number four is Digital Marketing Manager. Okay, just give me number four, Digital Marketing Managers. Yes, that's it. Let me see here. Just give me a second. Estoy arreglando esto. Okay. You said what well, number four, right? Digital marketing managers, yes. Let me check, it is for D, okay. Do you have D here? And this is already taken. 
Okay, and here we have Oscar, right? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number six is software engineer. Yeah, software engineer, that it is uh, letter F. F, letter F. Thank you. Perfect, okay, here we have this. Edwin, what about you? What's your opinion about this? Uh, number two. Yeah. Financial analyst. Yeah. Letter B. Yeah, financial analyst. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do we have more people? Maybe Wendy. Any opinion about this? Here we have three more. One, three, or five. Bookkeeper, okay. human resource specialist, insurance agent. Number one. Yeah. Is letter A. Yeah, bookkeeper. Yeah, keep track of financial accounts and companies. Thank you. Maybe we can have my Three or five. Number number five. Okay, number five. Mm, let her see. Almost, Cassie is insurance agent. Okay. Está algo confusa eso, right? Yeah. yeah. And this is letter C. Okay. So this is the this is the key. Esas son, son las respuestas, okay? About this keep bookkeeper, keep track of financial accounts and companies. Uh, B, help people and business manage their finances. Financial analyst, uh, human resource specialist, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. Uh, D, digital marketing manager, create and advertise the company over the social media. Insurance agent, help people in companies against financial loss and manage risks. And software engineer, design and develop different softwares. Okay, thank you very much. We continue with this. Um, okay, I will need your help to read this. Here we have affirmative and negative sentences. Oraciones afirmativas y negativas. Okay, maybe we can have Marcela. Can you help me, Marcela, with uh, this affirmative sentence? And yes. the negative, please. Okay. I keep track of the financial account. I don't keep track of the financial account. Okay, good. Financial. Esa palabra es algo extraña. Financial. Uh, Thank financial. you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, maybe we can have Karen with a sentence number two, affirmative and negative, please. You count the policies and regulations. Regulations, uh huh. You Regulation. don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know the policies and regulations. Thank you. Okay, Teresa, are you there? We advertise. We advertise the company. Uh -huh. We don't. We do not advertise the company. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Then we have Oscar, the last one. La última, Oscar. Nos ayudas, please. Mm, they have companies against financial loss. Uh -huh. Financial, yes. Financial, financial. Yes. The, they do not have company against finan, fin, financial. Financial loss. Finan, yes. finan, finan, fin, financial. Fin. Yes, sé que es algo complicado esa palabra. Yes. 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 Financial. Yes, that's it. Permítame un momento. Ok, so. Hay palabras como un poquito complicadas, yo entiendo. Pasa todo el tiempo. Ok, thank you. And here we have these sentences. Tenemos estas oraciones. Afirmatives, aquí tenemos estas, las afirmativas. 
have, que significa tener. Ya estamos entrando en la cuestión de los verbos, si se dan cuenta. Work, que es trabajar. Drink, que es beber. Go, que es ir, ¿ok? I need you to help me. So, child, we, can you please read number one? Yeah. In I have a pet. Mm -hmm. I don't have a pet. Thank you. Edwin, so can you help? Yes. Okay. With number two, Edwin, affirmative and then negative. You work in the factory. Mm -hmm. You don't work in the factory. Uh -huh, you don't. Thank you. Rigoberto, please. We drink water every day. We don't drink water every day. Water. Thank you. Jonathan, the last one, please. Affirmative and negative. Okay. They go to the school. No, perdón. They go mm -hmm. to school in the morning. They don't go to school in the morning. Perfect. That's it. And if you notice, the only difference is the yellow word. La única diferencia es la palabra en amarillo, que es don't. Que se puede decir do not, pero normalmente se dice don't, que es la negativa. Si una eh, oración lleva not o don't, definitivamente es negativa. Ok, now that we saw this, tenemos acá. On scramble. Tenemos con on scramble. Y mm. lo que tenemos que hacer es ordenar estas oraciones. Ok, aquí dice of. Y la palabra eh, y el número dos entre paréntesis que quiere decir que se va a utilizar dos veces. Ok, so les dejo un par de segundos para que podamos, pues, eh, completar estas oraciones, ordenar las palabras para que tengan sentido las oraciones. Ok, démosle una revisada y la completamos. Okay, any volunteer for one of these sentences? We have one, two, three, and four. Marcela, you tell me what number. Okay, I don't know sure. Okay, uh, just first. tell me the number, please. Okay. One, two, three, or four. Number three. Okay. Okay, I take not in the meetings every day. Yes, I take notes in the meetings every day. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, Jonathan? Please. Uh, uh, the number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. They keep track financial accounts of company. Okay. Okay. Quedaría así. They keep track of. Porque la palabra of se utiliza dos veces. ¿verdad? Of financial accounts of companies. Thank you, Jonathan. Perfect. Okay, what if we listen to Edwin? Uh, number four. 
Number four, yeah. Carlos and Mauricio at the Answer Pond. Okay, Carlos and Mauricio. Aquí va el verbo. ¿Cuál at podría ser el verbo? Answer. Yes, answer. Mm -hmm. Phone. ¿Dónde? At. At the reception. Yes. The reception. Ok. Y tenemos a Daniel Bonilla acá. Con, tal vez nos ayude con la número dos. Um, we don't. We don't. Albert, advertise. Advertise. Mm -hmm. Advertise the company on internet. Okay. Yes, on internet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is. Y así quedaría. Okay. Thank you very much, my friends. Continuamos con las actividades porque algunos de ustedes me hacen falta comentarme. Talk about the famous person. Okay. And these people are, for example, Teresa. I don't know if you're ready, Teresa. Hello, Teresa. Okay, if Teresa is not ready. Uh, Karen? Yes. Um, okay, Karen, you go. Okay, he is actor, Martin Art. Uh, he is Hong Kong, and he is, he is star in the movie Karate Kid as mentor or teacher, mm -hmm. and he is singer. 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 Singer, yes. <laughs> Mentor. <laughs> in... No sabía eso. Caray. Yo también, mi pierna depilada. Ah. So. Eh, eh, canta. El, el señor de... Miyagi. No. Jackie Chan. Yes. <laughs> no, Jackie Chan, yes. No, I was, I was thinking of Miyagi. Pat Morita, I was like, sí. <laughs> but yes, Jackie Chan is is like a, another, an, another mentor in Karate Kid. Thank you. Como no confunde. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what if we listen to Bonilla, Daniel Bonilla? Are you ready? Okay. Um... Dice, he is good son, son talking about El Salvador. He is Salvadorian. He is dark skin. He is the, he is listen the Morazan Papa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one <laughs> of his famous phrases. Frase famosa. <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Daniel Bonilla. More information, please. More information about this. <laughs> thank you. Uh, what if we go with uh, Josue Isaac? Are you ready? Okay, maybe not. Edwin? Yes. Okay, please, Edwin. I call not Edwin, Charter to Xbox. <laughs> okay. uh, Colombia nationality. She is a singer international. She is a dancer. She is 47 years old. Uh, the children are Sacha and Milan. She has been killed of music. She is a great songwriter. Okay. I guess it's the same artist that was mentioned before, right? Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes right. Shakira, right? Maybe Carol G. Carol G. 
Ok, we're going to finish with Fanny and Francisco. No sé si está por acá. Fanny or yeah. Francisco. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi. Um, yes, Francisco. Uh, he is British. Uh, he is a singer and famous song is uh, Bohemian Rhapsodia. He's a okay. composit compositor, creo que es. Composer. Uh, yeah, composer. Yeah. Uh, guess, uh, guess who? Okay, guess who? Yes, Rhapsody Bohemia. Freddie Mercury. Composer. Yes, sí, yes. <laughs> one of the most, one of the greatest voices in our in our history right uh freddie mercury thank you okay uh, we're going to do this a uh, conversation mail and routines in esta conversación vamos a trabajar con las rutinas que acabamos de ver acá look at this you can have screenshot pueden tener una captura de pantalla si ustedes quieren or you can take notes pueden tomar notas también porque vamos a utilizar al menos tres de estas Okay, now that we have this, vamos con eh, la conversación que está acá. Esta conversación tiene el mismo formato, it has the same format as the previous ones, uh, uh, como las anteriores. Está sencilla. Vean lo siguiente. Hi, dicen el nombre, hello, how are you doing? ¿Cómo estás? Ya saben qué decir, excelente, lo como sea. Aquí viene lo siguiente, que es esto. This is a busy week, busy como bicicleta. This is a busy week, right? Es una semana eh, ocupada, ¿verdad? Definitely, fíjense bien, aunque aquí dice definitely, quitémosle la E, definitely. Definitivamente. Tell me, what do you usually do during the week? Esta sí la vamos a practicar. Tell me, what do you usually do during the week? Hay bastante do, do you, todo eso, ¿verdad? What do you usually do during the week? Dime, ¿qué haces usualmente durante la semana? Let me see, déjame ver. Ay, y aquí van a mencionar la, lo que les comentaba, ¿verdad? Las, las rutinas. Uh, watch TV, go to work, have lunch, cualquiera de esas. Y luego la pregunta clave en what about you, ¿verdad? La común. La, ¿Y qué hay sobre ti? Honestly, honestamente, I... Y dicen otras tres, el otro compañero o compañera dice eh, las tres rutinas, right? Luego, and that's it. Y eso es todo. Luego, all right, muy bien. I notice I don't have your email. No, yo noto que no tengo tu correo. Well, it's bueno. Es, y aquí ustedes lo van a mencionar. El correo electrónico de usted. Luego, and what's your email? ¿Y cuál es tu correo? Y la otra persona se lo dice. Luego le dice, ok, now we can be in touch. Ok, ahora podemos estar en contacto. You can bet on that. Bien, fácil. La primera, escriben los nombres. La segunda parte acá, escriben cómo están. La tercera, eh, ¿qué? Dos o tres rutinas, lo que ustedes quieran, según la imagen que les mostré. Y la última, sus correos electrónicos. Ok. Maybe we can have this... Alexis, can you help me, please, my friend, uh, with the screenshot? I'm sorry. Okay, that's it. Yes, Sochil, tell me. Thank you, Alexis. Puede, puede pronunciar de nuevo la palabra de, de si, uh... Ahorita. 
en un momento. Ok, eh, veamos con todas las palabras amarillas, que casi siempre yo selecciono algunas palabras así que considero que son tricky. Tricky quiere decir que son como tramposas, nos hacen dudar. Vamos a aquí abajo, how are you doing? Ya la conocemos, how are you doing? This is a busy week. Es una semana ocupada, busy week, busy week, right? Y aquí está esta, definitely, definitely. ¿Ok? Como que si le quité, quitásemos la segunda E. Definitely, definitely. Luego, tell me what do you usually do during the week. Eso sí necesitamos como practicarle. Tell me what do you, what do you usually do during the week. Usually, usually. Luego tenemos acá. And what about you? And what about you? Honestly. That's the fácil, honestly. All right. All right. Luego, now we can be in touch. Touch. Now we can be in touch. Okay. ¿Todo bien? Any other question? Otra pregunta? All right. Okay. Vamos a ver, entonces vamos a darle una pequeña práctica. And let me see. And see you in a moment. Okay, my friends. Jonathan, ¿dificultades para unirte? You can bet on that.
Ok, um, welcome back. Bienvenido de regreso, ya estamos en la recta final. I'm going to check the attendance list. Eh, sé que tenemos esta conversation. Eh, la vamos a dejar para mañana para darle continuidad porque solo nos quedan seis minutos eh, de clase. Y si nos ponemos con la práctica, nos vamos a tardar un poquito más para pasar la lista. Así que I'm going to check the attendance list. Reviso la lista de asistencia y quiero que me digan una, una de las funciones que ustedes hacen en el trabajo, ¿ok? No tiene que ser muy extensa, tiene que ser corta, ¿ok? Eh, así que me dicen hi, ¿verdad? Y me, luego me dicen eh, una de las funciones que ustedes tienen en su trabajo, eh, la speaking activity número dos, ya eh, se trata de eso, ¿verdad? Eh, Brandon Alexis, hello. Hi, teacher. Uh, ok, my friend, tell me what. Is repired pipette. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, Christian, no, right? Okay, Daniel Bonilla. Hi. Okay, uh, Daniel Ernesto. Hi. Check okay. inventory. Thank you, very nice. Uh, we go now with uh, Fanny. Melvin, vamos en orden. Luego te llamo. Ok, no hay problema. Eh, Fanny, no sé si está por acá. Bueno, si no, Francisco. A ver, Francisco. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, call it information. Thank you. Eh, Fernanda no se conectó. Jonathan. Hi. Eh, eh, present. Uh, logistic of collection and distribution of material of material added to the project or warehouse. Thank you. Very nice. Bien detallado. Antonio, are you there? Oh, okay. hi, teacher. Hello, Antonio. I am, I am supervised the production. Okay. I supervise. Sing it. I am. I supervise the production. Thank you. Okay. Very good. You. Edwin, are you there? I administrative report. Ok, thank you. Josué, chicas. Uh, in my world, uh, I clean it. Ok, I... thank you. Listen. Ok, thank you. Karen. Present and respond, Jimmy. Ok, thank you. Uh, Benjamin no se conectó. Marcela. Hi, teacher. Hi. I speak with the customer about the service. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, Mayeli. Hi, uh, at my job, okay. mm -hmm. at my job we'll sell telecommunication service. Okay, thank you. Very nice. We continue now with uh, Melvin. Okay, my friend, you tell me one function. Una función que hace. Hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, supervisor. Okay. Thank you. Oscar, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, I... Uh, I... I, uh, customer service um, in export the medic medicine uh, mm -hmm. United States. Okay, very interesting. Thank you. Okay, Rigoberto. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Teresa. Okay, uh, so chill. Hi, present. I qualify customer for USA. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Wendy. Present. I program informatic system. Okay, thank you. Very nice. So, uh, my friends, comentarles a eh, par de cosas, verdad? Primero, esta semana, al día viernes, al finalizar el día viernes, 
ya deben de estar terminada la unidad 2 y el midterm. El midterm es un examen de medio curso. Es similar a las tareas que han estado haciendo. Así que yo sugiero, I suggest you to advance. Les sugiero que avancen. Si pueden adelantarse con una tarea, pues es posible. Recuerden que pueden hacer las veces que quieran, ¿verdad? Si fallan, pueden volver a hacerla para sacarse mejor nota. Y este, para el viernes, ¿verdad? Ya debe ser terminada la unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. Está la unidad 2, abajito, ahí aparece midterm, ¿verdad? La unidad 1 ya la terminamos, ¿verdad? Así que eh, eso. Lo otro sería que, bueno, Fanny no me contestó. Francisco, te quedas ahora con la sesión de los 10 minutos, ¿ok? Francisco, te quedas unos, unos momentos. Okay. Okay. Y lo otro que quería comentarles es que hay que estar pendiente de las speaking activities, ¿verdad? Sé que a algunos les cuesta un poquito por la cuestión del tiempo y todo eso, pero si se dan cuenta, les está ayudando con la fluidez, con la confianza, la seguridad, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, quiero que vayamos todos, bueno, casi al mismo ritmo, ¿ok? Terminamos. See you tomorrow. Los veo mañana, ¿ok? Bye, good night. Bye, bye. Solo se queda Francisco. Bye, bye. 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 Ok, Francisco, hi there. Hi. Ok, este, este espacio es principalmente para uh, aclarar dudas. Si tienes alguna confusión con el tema de la plataforma, algún tema de clases, si quieres que, pues alguna actividad que hemos hecho que te confunda o con la metodología, si tienes alguna pregunta o comentario, pues para eso es este espacio, es bien corto, ¿verdad? Simplemente es para aclarar dudas o, ¿sí? O inquietudes. Gracias, tengo un, oh, bueno, una, una duda. Eh, ¿Estas eh, clases eh, están en, el, en algún... ¿Lo podemos descargar, digamos, eh, como la, para ir guardando, quedando las principales eh, palabras o algo para repasarlas? ¿Hay algún folleto, digamos, que es la palabra? Eh, no. Vaya, en el... Déjame ver. Sí hay un manual. No sé si lo descargaste, el manual. ¿Que son como seis páginas? No, no, no es algo extenso. Déjame ver. Déjame ver si... Puedo pasártelo para que veas las clases. Lo voy a mandar al grupo, mejor. Eh, ese manual es como un libro en PDF de lo que estamos viendo, pero eh, ahí está parte de lo que nosotros vemos, pero yo le agrego más, más contenido, más palabras y más vocabulario. Así que lo ideal es que tomes notas. Que sí, no, si estoy tomando, no, no, estoy tomando notas. Si notas estoy tomando. Ah, sí, muy bien. Sí, no, no te estoy tomando, eso sí. Mm, Va, excelente, entonces. Sí, este, voy a, ahorita, déjame ver. Ahorita lo voy a descargar. Lo voy a descargar y lo voy a enviar. Lo voy a enviar ahí al, ¿cómo se llama? Al grupo para que eh, se tenga mejor, ¿qué? Ya una, una mejor noción de lo que, ¿cómo se llama?, conlleva todo lo, lo que es este, este curso, ¿verdad?, porque pueden darle una revisión. Por lo menos, ajá, ahí, está, ahí está la guía. ¿verdad? Sí, es correcto, sí, 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 de, de, de todos los temas. Y, ¿verdad?, entonces, eh, esa sería la primera duda. ¿Tienes otra duda? Eh, no, lo, lo demás creo que, este, ah, eh, prestando no. atención en la Permítanme. clase, no. Eh, per, per, una consulta. El manual que tú me dices es que uno que tiene pocas páginas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, ese es el único que yo pude ver. Oh, ya. Ok. Déjame revisar porque... Pero ese es como... como eh, eh, pero ese no tiene nada de las clases. Medio lo estuve viendo y está prácticamente todo en inglés. Sí, pero está bastante limitado. O sí, sea, está bien corto. Sí, 
Es que no está completo, solo está el índice. Déjame revisar bien esta cosa, que no puede ser. Yo creo que aquí, aquí se han confundido, creo. Sí, porque ese es, ese es el que venía cuando nos mandaron las, las, el correo inicial y todo. Uh -huh. mm, no, es que aquí está la par, no, lo voy a ver completo. Es que sí está dividido por, por las unidades. Ah, está por las unidades. Sí, está por las unidades. Porque ahí te aparece, ¿verdad? Eh, pero te aparece Introduction, de ahí abajo te aparece Unidad 1. Get to Correcto, know yo, solo vi, yo solo vi Introduction, que son como unas seis páginas, algo así. No, no, puedes descargarlo ahí a la parte de, de abajo de Introduction, aparece Unidad 1, que es Get to know someone, que es lo que te va a... Eh, ¿Qué? Son 10 páginas de la Unidad 1, de lo que estudiamos eh, la semana pasada. Luego te va a aparecer y ahí está la... Daily Routines, que ah. es... Ajá, eso se va a a... Ah, va, de acuerdo, entonces yo ahí lo busco, entonces me voy a guiar ahí para descargarlo. Sí, da, da, dale una, una pequeña revisada porque sí, ahí lastimos, bueno, lo subieron uh, de manera diferente, pero igual ahí está. Y ah, si va. tienes, ajá, tienes otra duda, otra consulta con respecto a las tareas, este, las evaluaciones o algo así. No, 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 estamos bien ahí, que cuando... No entiendo alguna, eh, me voy a, 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 a traductor a ver y ahí me, sí. Yo me ubico. Sí, hay que recuerda que cómo se llama, se tiene que, que apoyar con, con, con diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ahí, entonces sí, el traductor ayuda, diccionarios en línea ayuda, ¿verdad? Y sí. Cosas así, ¿verdad? Así que pues, no sé si tienes otra duda, Francisco. No, 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 solamente. Ok, Francisco, ok, excelente, así que ánimo, nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Have a good night. Bueno, have a good night. Gracias.